to the Diani Beach Festival. And uh, we're going to see exactly what's happening there, sights, sounds, and what's going on on that particular site. Let's move there now. Well, okay, the Kuala County is gearing up for the annual Diani Beach Festival. And so we're moving on to that particular site. It's expected to be held in South Coast as from today to run up until the 23rd of December. And we want to now speak to one of the uh, events organizers there that we're going to cross over to. What can Kenyans expect from this festival? What do you aim to achieve from this? And how has the, um, the response been so far when it comes to the festival? Uh, this is obviously the second year Diani Beach Festival is uh, returning uh, after the successes of, of the first year. Um, you know, initially, the idea of Diani Beach Festival was to, to provide a platform, especially in the festive season, to really promote what is uh, amazing about, about not only Diani, about the Kenyan coast. Um, so the second edition this year, we've kind of shortened it, uh, gone with the theme of sport, i.e. the skydiving, which we've seen over the last couple of weeks uh, a number of international skydivers come across and now as we move into the festive period we'll start moving into the music and lifestyle we've got three fantastic events uh, you know artists such as Sauti Sol, Nyashinsky, Heart the Band uh, our vision this year for the Kenyans is is to really try to promote brand Kenya the Kenya Tourism Board have you know been extremely supportive um, and yeah no I think it, it's just time to, to again re-put that message on the map that, you know, Diani Beach is up there amongst the world's best. It's won the world's best beach. Uh, so guys from Nairobi, Eldoret, no need to go to Zanzibar, no need to go to Cape Town. We have a world-class venue in Diani Beach Club. Uh, we'll put on an absolutely high-end, top-class um, evening entertainment throughout the Diani Beach Festival. And hey, with the skydiving, currently one of the only few places in the world where you can land on a beach. And hey, there's not many places in Africa which do it. So, you know, our vision is we've just got to, we've got to let people know that, that the Kenyan coast is, is the right place to be. And, hey, we've seen this year the tourism numbers have absolutely increased. I think the hotels currently are already fully, fully occupied. So, no, we're all really looking forward to, to really, you know, showing Kenya off this year. That was Sandeep Patel, one of the organizers of the Diani Beach Festival. Sandeep, a quick question before I let you go. You've said you've also got a lot of musical acts lined up, including Nashinsky, Saudi Soul, and more. Do you think that the Kenyan uh, audiences are very much geared towards looking at local talent now? And what about as compared to international artists? What have you seen in terms of the responsiveness of people who want to uh, sample this kind of music? Um. So last year we, we, we did have quite a, a mixed range. We had obviously Saudi Solo returning again this year. We, we went for international artists last year. The general feedback we got, especially from our international tourists, was, you know, we're, we're coming all the way to Kenya. We, we don't necessarily need to see artists that we see on a weekly basis. So we've kind of kept it quite strong. Um, we've obviously got one or two internationals. Uh, we've got a great surprise on New Year's Eve this year with DJ Pink Mohawk. Um, but no, there'll be a few good surprises this year. But absolutely, it's time to put Kenya on the map. All right, thank you very much, Sandeep, for speaking to us uh, today on Business Today.